Hello bros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your dude Alvin Drill and it's a, it has been a long time since I have done a video with a Chromebook and I have read many comments about what to do when a Chromebook uh, get you spill water on it or any other liquid. So for that end I have this Chromebook here, Acer, but the process is going to work the same for Dell, Lenovo, you know, any other brand, HP. So I'm showing you that this Chromebook is working well. The battery is not connected, but uh, I mean, the charger is not connected, but the battery is working fine. So I can move the mouse. You can see the time over there. I'm connected to the Wi-Fi. You can see it there. And now I'm going to type something. So to, to show you that it's connected to the, to the Wi-Fi. So visit Mars. Who doesn't want to visit Mars, right? And then I like coffee. So as you can see, I have results. That means I'm connected to it. And this process is going to work for most models, but not for all, I would think. But it's worth the shot. So I'm showing you all the keys. I'm pressing them right now, so it's working fine. So it's a working crumble, okay? So now what we have to do, like I mentioned, this, uh, this process might not work for all the models, but again, it's worth to try. So I have water here. You might have juice, you might have coffee. So I'm going to spill the water over the crumble. And as you can see, it's still on. It even press a key over there. So of course, don't do this on purpose. Don't do it, okay? So the Chromebook is still alive. It's, it's not dead yet. So I'm going to pour more water on it like this. And after a few seconds, as you have seen, as you can see here, now it's dead. The Chromebook has shut down because of the water, of course. So while we are waiting for that, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. So now, uh, as you can see, <clears throat> the Chromebook is wet. So the first thing you have to do is put it against the wall like that. And next, I'm going to, to wipe it. I'm going to dry it up, uh, all the surface. So if you're interested in more Chromebook videos, you can click on the top right of this screen for a playlist. I have a, a lot of videos. Now, you uh, clean the Chromebook, well, you dry the Chromebook a little, you clean it up like this, and I'm going to put a, um, a towel paper uh, below it so because the water is still coming down so next i'm going to turn it over allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera and now this one you have to remove the cover now i'm showing you that i don't have any watches or jewelry and i have already discharged myself of any uh, static electricity that i might have in my body by touching a metallic surface so this model has like i don't know 10 screws your model might might have more or less but that's going to be different. So I'm going to remove the cover, as you can see over here. So very quickly, the video is sped up. And this might take more time or less, depending on your model. Uh, oh, oh, this is a Chrome, an Acer Chromebook, 11 inches. I forgot to mention that. Now uh, I'm going to remove the cover. And as you can see, that's the motherboard. And now uh, this is the battery. The other thing we have to remove is, well, the battery. So in this, you can see the, the drops over there is wet. So in this model, it has two screws. So I'm going to do the same using my Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to remove it. And the next step is going to be disconnected from the motherboard. So this is the connector. And just using your nails very slowly, you can disconnect it like that. So you remove it. And by the way, guys, you have to be as quick as you can doing this process because every second counts. So now I'm going to put it in the original position like that so the water can go down. And now, uh, as you can see, the water is coming to the towel paper. And I don't know where to put the water because it's going to get wet anyway. So now the next step, maybe the most important one, is to dry it up. I have these two fans. I didn't bought it for the video. I just had them because where I live is kind of hot. And I'm going to let them dry the Chromebook up, okay? So if you don't have a fan, maybe you have a bigger one, or if you don't have, it really helps if you have a fan. It really, really makes a difference. If you don't have it, leave it in that position, as you can see in the video for, I don't know, for a few days, okay? So I'm going to use the fans. At least I would advise to have one. So I'm going to put one, the black one in the back so it can dry up all the keyboard, and this one in the front so it can dry up all the motherboard, all right? And now I'm going to put the battery on the, I mean, inside, because I didn't know where to put it. <laughs> so it's going to be there. So I'm going to leave this for around, I don't know, 12 hours, more than a day, something like that, okay? Again, you have to dry it up as soon as I as you can. I don't advise you to use rice, <laughs> because it might mess up the motherboard anyway. So I'm going to leave it like this for a few, 
hours, no, no, for more than a day, okay? So I'm going to come back after a day or two. Welcome back. So I left it drying for three days, around three days. And as you can see, uh, the fans are still working. So now we're going to turn them off because, well, we are going to see if now it's working. So I'm going to put them away. And now as you can see, it's dry over here, no more water. And I'm showing you that I'm not wearing any watches or jewelry as before. So now I'm going to um, remove, the, well, not remove, um, put the battery back. So I'm going to connect the, the battery to the motherboard. And as always, I'm struggling doing that after a few tries. I was able to do it. So after I did that, you can see that the light is on. So that's a good sign, but we're going to see if it's working. Now I'm going to put back uh, the battery. I'm going to, uh, to attach it with the screws. So that very quick, as I mentioned, I have two in this model. You might have more than one, well, more than two. So I'm going to turn it over very carefully. I was kind of afraid, but now I can see that the screen is on. So it's showing something, so that's good. So now I'm going to press the power button, I'm going to shut it down, and it's working. So I'm going to close it, I'm going to turn it over, allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. Now I'm going to put back the cover. We don't need the uh, paper towel anymore, so we are going to put back the cover. So while I'm doing that, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. So I put back the many screws that it has, but I believe I forgot a few, <laughs> like you can see there, there was a screw over there. So now I'm going to open it and we're going to see if it works. So uh, it's going to turn on by itself. There, there is the login screen. I type the password and I'm in. You can see the logo, the Google logo there. So that means I'm connected to the Wi-Fi. So I'm going to do some tests. As you can see, I can move the mouse. You can see the time. You can see the Wi-Fi uh, logo signal. I'm connected to it. I'm going to type something to see that uh, if the key keys are working, and they are. So now I'm going to press a lot of keys, like I did at the beginning, so I can. You can see that the keyboard is working well. I mean, all the keys are working well. So if I, if this has worked for you for any other Chromebook model that you may have, things that might not work. Are the battery might be dead, so you will need to use the charger or replace the battery. The keyboard might not work, or, any, or some keys are not working. The mouse must not work, might not work. I don't think the monitor, and uh, not the monitor, the the screen might not be working. I never, I have never seen that, or or nothing might work. Like the Chromebook is not going to turn on because it was damaged, fully damaged by the water, juice, or coffee that you spill on it. So. That's all I want to show you in this video, guys, how to replace, no, not replace, how to repair a Chromebook that on which you have spilled water or any other liquid. Okay. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.